Hello computer geeks welcome back to my channel again hey I wanted to tell you that this video will play under a playlist called API Flex where I research available APIs in the market and give you hand-picked best API suggestions so that would help you if you are not yet subscribed please hit that subscribe button and click on bell icon let's get started Today I am going to introduce you to a sophisticated service provider in the market. They are named as Twilio. Twilio is one of the best service provider for phone calls, SMS, fax or a video capability, so you name it. So they are totally sophisticated service provider. Today's topic we are talking about the international support for alphanumeric uh, sender ID. I mean, what do you mean sender ID? See, for example, in your every everyday life, you're gonna get a lot of SMSs from your bank or from your hospital or from uh, from your friend. So you will get to see the sender ID. In the same manner, there are a lot of SMSs like promotional SMS or uh, OTP or uh, transactional SMSs. Here the list of country where they support alphanumeric sender ID or not. For example, here in the first row we have Afghanistan, it says yes, which means that you can send an SMS to a person or a customer sitting in Afghanistan with your brand name. That is straight away yes. For example, here American somewhere, here it is no. Here one more country, it says yes, pre-registration required. What does that mean? Which means you need to provide uh, your registered brand name to the Twilio. You just got to upload those registered document uh, with a brand name should be mentioned clearly without any spell mistake. Uh, if you upload it, and they will be uh, open your uh, tunnel to send custom sender ID to this particular country. So the, the, that's it. So we have a list of countries you can go through. If you are targeting any specific country, just go through their policy. So even Twilio won't block you out and and even you will be in a safer side so how do we do that first of all you just click on this uh, in the from the dashboard you click on this uh, phone numbers you need to buy one virtual number so I have already bought one London number so this is the number you can click here to buy and each number will cost you one dollar per month so you can buy one for trial and you can you can test it and uh, and you can if you are very convenient with the service you can adapt to your business now after 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 this process now after this process you go to here there is a three dots more action here it says all products and services click here and go to programmable sms this will take you to uh, how to send the uh, program uh, and the, the learn and build there are a lot of options here you can say it here in this page click on learn and build here it is pointing to build now now click on uh, API Explorer so here the URL changed in the API Explorer come to message here we are trying to create a message click on here post we are trying to post a message okay it's loading okay so now we have uh, two panels here with it with the, the first column it says we have a lot of text boxes to uh, give our input and here is a dynamically built uh, script for example so this is a curl and if I switch it to Python the code will dynamically convert it to Python code oh, what happened to this yeah Python this is a Python code now here account your account ID will display here this is your recipient or a customer number now for now I'm gonna enter plus nine one double eight nine double two one three four five two is my personal number so i'm going to send sms from this twilio virtual number to myself let's see what will happen so this is my virtual number don't worry about this aside and all uh the message say hi uh i am santosh from twilio is the message body so don't worry of the rest of the things so here uh, whatever the message body you were given it will be automatically typed in so here this is a click on this icon it will copy your code I'm coming back to my 
sublime text editor this is the my text editor in the, there is a folder called python in my da desktop i'm create a new file here and i'm going to save this as sms.py py is the script extension for python script uh, so we have sms dot uh, py file is generated i'm saving this i'm pasting here i'm saving this so let's let's try this uh, here say for example uh, this is my virtual number from twilio this is the message and this is the target uh, or the recipient so this is the sms let's try this if it works then we will move further uh, now uh, now i am in uh, my pointer is pointing to python directory i'll type command ls which will uh, display every of the file in that particular folder now this is the command python3 i'm going to use python3 and sms is my file name as you could see there sms.py i'm at the end uh, there is a problem it says no module found error and there is a no module in my particular in this in this computer system called twilio uh, let me see in this code we have imported from twilio.rest we have this from this package we are trying to import the client so it is not even finding what is this twilio OS. so go back to your terminal type what i type so pip uh, pip installer so pip3 which install a latest uh, packages from their official website to for python 3 so pip3 install twilio and hit enter so it will find uh, your uh, twilio package and it will install so it says successfully installed twilio 6.141 and so i'm going to clear the screen now i'm going to run the program again python 3 sms.py and it says uh, http error because unable to create record authenticate okay so i got it what oh, the problem is here auth token we need to replace with our original auth token to get auth token go back to your dashboard or console console dashboard that's what it says go to console view here copy your token come back to your sublime text editor and replace this that's it don't use the same uh, account id or uh, authentication id because uh, they are not going to be valid anymore after this video i'm going to clear the screen and run it again yes that's it uh, if you get this uh, this is sid i will show you the code this is print it is just printing the that particular message dot sid there are a lot of options available uh, for message there are a lot of attributes inside the message you can display uh, to get more information about these transactions from sending uh, from to from to to okay i'll show this is my screenshot as you could see i am in india i'm trying to reach out from this virtual number to india and the message is re received in a different sender id so th that's how it is so now let's try with the custom both labs so as i could see in the list of international numbers i'll control f and in this i'll type india it says no straight away no so that's why uh, it, we are they are not tulio is not allowing to send that custom or even the virtual number to display as a sender id because their uh, their authorization size of the sender id it's it's like uh, six to uh, six to uh, nine if i'm not wrong yes six to nine so now now what you're gonna do is go here and type both labs and pick any number uh, of your friends if you want to really want to try for example plus four one zero uh, sorry for the type of plus one zero stars a star and type your uh, uk number or london number uh, any number you wish to and try doing this and they must receive a message with this custom uh, sender id if if that worked then congratulations you did it if that didn't work then i will help you out uh, with doing it uh, let me know whatever the problem is uh, in the comment section and that's it for this uh, particular video friends uh, thank you so much for watching bye bye